this video, I'll show you how to set up automated SMS and email drip campaigns to nurture your leads without ever having to engage manually. To get started, go to automations in your sub account, then click create workflow. From here, you can either pick a template or start from scratch, which I'll show you how to do both. For our email drip campaign, we're going to use a workflow that already exists if we scroll down and then select email drip sequence. Click select and then your new workflow will load up. Here we have a pre-built email drip sequence, which will send emails to our leads automatically without us ever having to intervene. To customize this workflow, we'll first add a new trigger by clicking add new trigger. Then we'll use our trigger as the form submitted trigger, which is going to be using the form that we already created within our sub account that our leads are filling out. Select this form by clicking add filters, form is, and then selecting your form that you've created. Then click save. Now our email drip sequence will launch whenever a lead submits that form. The next step to customize this workflow is to change all of the email actions in order to fit our messaging. Do this by clicking each email action, reading through the subject line and the message itself in order to craft your emails in this screen. Feel free to include valuable information, PDFs, lead magnets, and so much more. And then when you're done with your emails, click save action. Do this for each one of the email actions within this workflow in order to customize this workflow completely. This workflow functions by segmenting our customer lists in order to send different emails to people who have opened our emails and to people who have not. You can see this through the automated branching right here. Be sure to customize your emails accordingly and when you're done, click publish and then click save. Now we'll create another workflow by clicking back to workflows and then clicking create workflow from scratch. This time we're gonna create a similar workflow but for SMS. To make a simplified version of the workflow we just saw and using SMS, we'll click add action user action as send SMS, type our message in this space, and then click save action. Now, whenever somebody submits this form, it'll send them an SMS. To turn this into a drip sequence, we'll add the drip action before our SMS. Using this action will allow us to send our SMSs in batches, so that way we don't go over our SMS sending limit. We'll set our batch as 100, and we'll do it once a day. This way, we'll send 100 SMSs every day. Then we can click save action. Feel free to spice this workflow up using branching by clicking plus, and then searching if else. Our if else action will allow us to build our own branching so we can send different SMSs to different groups based on our customer's behavior, just like the email drip campaign did. If else actions function with two parts, branches and segments. Branches are the paths that a customer will go down if they fit the specific requirements, and segments are those sets of specific requirements. Our branching will look like this, and we can designate our actions for the contact for each one of these branches. When you're finished with your workflow, click publish and then click save. Congrats, with these workflows finished, we can now increase our conversion rates by following up consistently with our leads without any manual intervention. As always, I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.